Look what Tammy made for dinner. Got a gorilla style pigs in a blanket. That's ham wrapped in a hot dog, wrapped in croissant with trichia jalapenos and sauteed onions. And this is spicy battered onions with, you know, that secret sauce. Tim's got some snap peas too. And they do have some spice. Let's try it off. All right, guys, so we're going to give you a tour of our garden out here. we got to dig up our potatoes. We have uh, three large 40-foot uh, rows of potatoes, so we're not going to film the whole thing. We're going to pull all of our onions, and then we're going to give you a tour of the garden. So if that sounds like something you guys would enjoy, come along, right? Right. we got a lot of work to do, and it's wet. It's muddy. muddy. We're going to get dirty, but... Uh, Hey, this is the only time we got to do it. So we're just going to use these uh, potato forks. You can see the horseradish here. The rhubarb's getting eaten, but we can do a second picking. And these are all the potatoes that we have to dig up. These rows right here. There's our asparagus. Lettuce is going to seed. Well, uh, we do got some weeds growing up in through here. All the all the uh, ramps have gone to scape. And um, got a little sunflower here. I'm trying to compete with the nomiuses. But mine's got a few more heads than theirs do. And uh, we're just going to dig up all these potatoes, pull all these onions, and get them uh, ready for drying out. So that's what we're going to do. And then we'll give you a tour of the rest of the garden, okay? All right, so welcome to Scrappy Acres Jungle. Here we're digging up some potatoes. We got these little section right here dog look at this look at some of them potatoes looking good right here What do you do there? Look. Look at that. Hold on there. Potatoes underneath? Yes. I just keep digging them out. <sighs> Alright, so we got first of the, or half of the first row dug up. And we got about a bushel of, uh, potatoes so if this stays consistent uh should have six bushel okay so we got the first two rows dug up we're working on the third one right here's where our old compost was so i thought maybe you'd like to see potatoes grow like an old compost try in here because i started and i I don't know if I got them all. I'm gonna go back some. So oh, this way. I saw it. Good one. 
All right, guys, we're gonna run out of daylight, so yeah, keep going. We got onions and everything else to pick. See you in a little bit. All right, it's getting too dark. Here's our potatoes. Uh, took us forever to dig these up. Well, we got some nice red, red potatoes. Got some good white uh, Idaho potatoes. And we got some good fingerlings. And um, all of our onions are decent too. Never grew big onions, but these are decent onions. Uh, we got some red onions too. Um, some fingerling uh, potatoes. Some of our red onions started to rot, so we pulled them all. Our candy, we got candy red onions too. Um, I think they're these. And we got the regular red onions. They look like this. Um, but these candy onions we grew from uh, plants and I can't wait to try these because we love the candy onion onions. We never had red candied onions. So, looking forward to that. I'm not sure what our biggest potato is. Uh, got one, and the onions are on top of the potatoes. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, baskets of potatoes. But I think this one, I think we got seven. I think this whole thing is onions. Yeah, I know it is. The wire baskets, all onions. But all the rest are potatoes, and then onions on top, and then this one right here is full of onions. So, and. Uh, we got just enough time to replant onions and potatoes and get another far, fall harvest. Um, so August, September, October, and we'd have to harvest them at the end of October, which it will get frosty, but potatoes will be okay and that'll be towards the end of them. Now, one thing about potatoes is you saw how dead these plants were. You really want your plants to die off. They will grow and they die for a long time. So. Even if they start looking brown, they'll be that way for a couple weeks, sometimes three weeks. And I know guys that just leave their potatoes in the ground uh, all through the winter. And they cover them with straw so they don't freeze. And then when they need potatoes, they go out and grab some out of the ground so you don't have to store it down in a cellar or something. So potatoes aren't going to rot in the ground. The rotten potatoes you find that you dig up are your seed potato. Um, as long as these are planted you know, above ground level, that's why you kind of grow them up in mounds. So that the water doesn't get to them too much, um, they're not going to rot out on you. Um, ants. And um, so just be, pay attention to that the way you plant them. And uh, you can leave these right in the soil, cover them up so they don't freeze with a bunch of straw. Go out and dig them in the winter when you need, as you need them. All right. So the rest of the garden tour will be later when we got some more daylight. Isn't that right, Duker boy? Thanks for stopping by. This is our gardening channel for the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. You're at Scrappy Acres Homestead. We're glad you're here. Please hit that subscribe button. Like and share if you can. We'll see you next time.